Welcome back to Show Academy. Now we are talking about the drawing questions. It is one gift of about 20% of the marks in paper 6. One drawing question of 4 marks followed by one magnification question of 3 marks. If you knew the trick here, you will get the 7 marks in 3 minutes. Let's start now. Pay me your attention. For the drawing question, there are some points we previously agreed upon in the last video, like using an HP pencil, like never shading, and never, never add details he doesn't ask for. If he said don't draw individual cells, so don't draw. If he said don't label, don't label. These are your main principles. Now let's agree on one important rule to collect the four marks of drawing. It is called the OSD rule. O costs one mark. It is about the outline. If you draw with a single, clear, unbroken line, you will get this mark. Okay, easy. S is for size. It costs another mark. Your size of drawing must be greater than half of the space provided. Focus on the available space and try to fill it. Tiny draw equals tiny mark. Okay, now these two marks require no further explanation, require no practice. It is a knowledge you got now and you will gain if applied. So apply, my dear. Be confident and draw clean marks. Draw a large size. So you now gain two marks. Now the last part of our rule, it is the D part. It is about details. It costs two marks. And it needs you to train your eyes about how to pick important detail in any photo like a biologist. And train your brain when you see a photo. What are they expecting me to draw in details? And that is what we will do now. We will go through photos as much as we can and try to pick two details guided by the mark scheme to have the two other marks. Let's go. This is an epidermal cell of red onion. They asked to draw the cell labeled X, so they simply want me to draw only one cell, not the whole tissue. No labels. So ask yourself, what detail is expected to be caught here in that photo? Almost always, remember they are not testing your art. They test your observation and your drawing accuracy. Now what do you see in cell X? There is a nucleus and a cell wall. Good. Those are found in all cells in the field. So this is considered as outline, not detail. What is seen specifically in cell X? There are two projections in the cytoplasm. Here, just below the nucleus. This is detail one. One of these projections is longer than the other and more pointed. And this is the detail two. So our drawing is like that. Here are the two projections in right place, and here the lower one longer than the upper and with a pointed edge. If you draw that you are a good observer, and you deserve both marks. Let's see another photo. It is this persimmon fruit cross-section. If we speak about two marks of details, what details here are expected to be observed? Let me tell you one secret. If they give you a closed curve figure, a cell, fruit, seed, or something else, Keep in mind that natural structures have irregularities due to growth, pressure, or anatomy. And you are expected not to draw any circular or organic structure, like a fruit cell or egg case, as a perfect geometric shape. So search first for dips, notches, indents, or projections on the outline. And draw it without exaggeration. Mainly if you catch that, so congratulations, you get one of the two marks of details. Back to our figure. See the surface, one indent in external shape here, and one on both sides. So simply draw a circular outline with three indents, one in the upper and one on both sides. The second marked observation here is the eight teardrop-shaped holes arranged in a circular flower-like pattern. Six of them are filled with seeds, dark centers, and two are just hollow openings. That's not a mistake, they're empty. You're being tested on careful comparison, not imagination. So the details are as follows. Detail 1. Six seeds shown and two openings without seeds. Remember, never shade. Detail 2. Indents in external shape at the top and on both sides. Now this drawing question of the egg case of one insect. This is a perfect example of facing an unfamiliar figure that looks complex from the first view. And if you see the mark scheme, you may panic because you will see biological terms that you never heard of like operculum, capitulum, hilum. Okay, but the question never asks you to use those terms, and no marks will be added if you know them. The mark scheme uses those terms for examiner reference, not for student recall. 
Marks are awarded for drawing the correct part, even if you don't know what it's called. So calm down. When facing any drawing, however complex, search for distinctive morphological landmarks. If you see a lot of random openings, search for landmarks in between them. You must pick one observation. For example, here in the capitulum, this rounded dome-shaped top of the egg case, all openings are meaningless, except one dark circle on top of the capitulum and two parallel lines on the left. This is the first detail. Do you know why the mark scheme mentions it as an important detail? Drawing the central dark circle shows understanding of the 3D feature of the egg case, and drawing the two parallel lines only on one side tests your awareness about sidedness, which matters in biology. The second detail is fibers around the operculum, these fine thread-like structures around the rim. Observing them shows awareness of surface texture and tests if the student can see that not all surfaces are smooth. So our drawing is like that. Detail 1. One circle on top of the capitulum and two parallel lines on the left. Detail 2. Fibers around the operculum. This question teaches you one important thing. The details are not about random small features. These are background noise. Focus on landmarks. Show in your drawing that you are oriented by 3D. Observe sidedness and surface texture. Now here is another question. It is about drawing a WBC. First, start with O for outline. Outline the cell with one clean, continuous line. Then S for size. Draw a big size. Then let's speak about the two points of details. The nucleus is lobed. It's a neutrophil, a type of white blood cell with a segmented nucleus. At the upper part, you'll see a smaller rounded lobe tucked to the bottom right of the top segment. Draw the large lobes first, then add the small bump to the bottom right of the upper lobe. Not too big, not centered. This is the first detail for the first mark. Take care. The mark here is not about the lobed nucleus. It is about the small bump in the bottom. The examiner isn't asking you to draw a textbook neutrophil. They want to know if you can copy exactly what you see, including unusual bumps, side lobes, or asymmetric shapes. That's real biological observation. The second mark is about drawing a thin line joining lobes on both sides. This detail proves you understood nuclear segmentation. Good. Your drawing might appear like that. It covers both details. Let's see this question. Here they ask to draw a large diagram of the tomato fruit shown. The first detail is about testing detailed observation. Draw six to ten seeds on each side, correctly positioned, pointing toward the center. The second detail is about testing the real depth and awareness of 3D biological shape. Cut surface and edge of fruit shown. So draw like that. Respect numbering and positioning. And show the 3D idea. Another example is to draw a large diagram of the part of the fish gill shown. It seems easy but it is tricky. It tests your observation and orientation of biological realism. See, one important detail here is when you draw a big picture, you must keep an eye on proportion. You must show how the lamellae, branches, get shorter toward the end. The number is important. Draw at least 14 to 18 branches along the filament. One of the most missed marks is alternation of branches. Lamellae do not arise in pairs. They alternate along the axis, left right left right pattern not mirrored pairs so your drawing is same or less like that detail one respect proportion and number detail two show alternate places along the axis one other example this drawing of the layers of tissue in the bronchiole here it is easy and to the point there is a clear invagination of bronchiole lining you must draw the full pattern of these invaginations around the inner lumen. They must match the number and positioning seen in the image. Detail 2 is about the muscle layer. Just outside the invaginated lining, as we said before, for any circular closed structure, you must observe any break or bump, bulge or dome. You must draw this. This is not a mistake in the figure. They put it for you to draw. Here there is a clear break in the muscle wall you must draw in the correct position. This is the drawing. Detail 1. Respect number and positioning. Detail 2. 
show clear break in the muscle wall in its correct position. The last drawing question in this video is this photograph of a seedling. The details here, if there is more than one projection, you must keep proportion. The shoot here is shorter and curves upward. The root is longer and curves downward. It is not for just drawing two squiggles. Make sure their size ratio is accurate. The second detail is drawing these two outermost curved leaves. Position them symmetrically and curving outward, like open arms. This tests close attention to the shoot tip morphology not just recognizing it's a plant, but drawing what it's actually becoming. This is the draw. Detail 1. Keep proportion. Detail 2. Drawing these two outermost curved leaves. Okay, I hope now it is clear. Our OSD rule, O for outline, it must be single, clear, unbroken, no shading. S for size, size greater than half of space provided. For details. You must train your eyes about real biological observation, including unusual bumps, side lobes, or asymmetric shapes. Search first for dips, notches, indents, or projections on the outline. You must keep proportion. Constrict to the numbering. Search for landmarks. Be aware of 3D biological shape. Careful comparison. Now, the second question is about magnification. It is a simple calculation question. Just knowing the idea, it is the same for all questions. Answering in three steps, one mark for each step. Step one, measure it. That's your first mark. Use a ruler and measure the line in millimeters, mm. That's one mark for correct measurement. Step two, plug into the formula. Second mark, use the formula. Magnification equals measured size divided by actual size. You get the second mark just for correct calculation, even with extra decimals. Step 3. Round your answer to two significant figures. Third mark. That's your third and final mark, for rounding it correctly. Mark given, one for correct measurement, one for correct formula plus working, and one for correct rounding. Now, congratulations. You have seven marks out of 40 in your pocket. Follow us to collect more. And that's how you turn observation into marks, clean, confident lines, and clever biological vision. Now you've just unlocked seven marks in less than seven minutes. That's a scoring shortcut most students miss. So don't just watch, practice these drawings. Rewatch, pause, compare, and redraw. The more you train your eyes to see like a biologist, the easier it gets to draw like one. Bye. Follow us for more tricks that turn paper six into your secret weapon. See you in the next video, future A-star.